you are ready to run a marathon. You're standing there at the starting line, and you remember that you've thought about this marathon for months. And all that's on your mind is that shiny medal that you're going to get at the finish line. So the gun goes off and you start. But suddenly, to your horror, you remember you didn't actually train for this marathon. You thought about it. You even made a spot in your house for that shiny medal. But you forgot to train. Suddenly, your muscles are starting to burn and you're getting tired. So your snacks, you think. Surely that will make it better. So you reach in your pocket for your snacks. But a race official runs over to you and says, oh no, we don't allow snacks on this race course. But, he says, I can make the pain go away until after the marathon. So you quickly agree. But suddenly, you can't fill your legs anymore. People are yelling at you to run harder and run faster, but you're not even sure which muscles are in your legs. Now this goes on for hours. Eventually you finish tired, hungry, and confused. Luckily, they still gave you that shiny medal. Now, this scenario may seem comical to many of you. However, it's a reality for many women. Women who choose to give birth with an epidural. <laughs> now, I want you to imagine the scenario again. You're running this marathon, except this time you're trained, you're fed, and you can fill all of your muscles. The key to this more successful scenario is natural childbirth. Now today I'm going to tell you why natural childbirth is a better option than medicated childbirth for normal low-risk births. Research has shown that natural childbirth allows for decreased C-section rates, faster recoveries, and better births. As a student here at BYU, I studied exercise and wellness and taken multiple anatomy, physiology, human development, and women's health classes. And being pregnant myself, I've done extensive research to find what the best options are for me and my baby. Now, for those of you who are thinking that this doesn't actually apply to you, especially the men, there are lots of women in this world, which means there are going to be lots of babies. So whether it's you, your spouse, your sister, or your friend, you're going to experience childbirth in one way or another. Now, many of you are probably imagining natural childbirth as giving birth in your bathtub with hippie music playing in the background. <laughs> but this is not necessarily the case. Delivering a baby naturally is actually very similar to what you've seen on TV. It's usually done in a hospital, except with less pain, no pain medication, and usually less screaming. Now, for those of you who do not know what an epidural is, an epidural is the number one choice of pain medication for women del delivering babies vaginally. Uh, in fact, the CDC reports that over 61% of women choose to have an epidural. Intermountain Healthcare describes an epidural as pain medication that is injected into the back that numbs the lower body. So why wouldn't you want this? Shouldn't we make childbirth easier? Well, AmericanPregnancy.org reports that an epidural can slow or even stop a woman's labor. Did you know that when a woman's labor stops or slows, they give her medication to speed it up again? But did you know that this medication can put a baby in distress? And did you know that when a baby goes into distress, they have to get it out immediately or it will die. So, the doctors slice you open, get the baby out, and you're no worse off, right? Wrong. Women who have to deliver with C-sections have longer hospital stays and longer recoveries. In fact, WebMD reports that women who have C-sections have to stay in the hospital for a minimum of three to five days, which is at least one to three days longer than women who deliver vaginally. And after they leave the hospital, they have to spend the next four to six weeks not only babying their baby, but babying their brand new suture across their stomach. There. In addition um, to decrease C-section rates, women who deliver naturally have better recoveries. Leslie on the left gave birth to a baby girl in July of 2009. She chose to deliver naturally. She was immediately up walking around, holding her new baby, greeting visitors, and was virtually pain-free. Now, Maquette chose to give birth to, well, she didn't choose to give birth, but she gave birth to a baby girl in August of 2012. She chose to deliver with an epidural. She spent the next two days flat in bed, 
She had intense nausea and headaches, which are common side effects of epidurals. And she spent the next week laying down instead of being able to walk around with her new baby and talk to visitors. Now go back to that marathon where you hadn't trained and you hadn't eaten. Women who deliver with epidurals are not allowed to eat solid foods, according to the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. They have to be hooked up to an IV to maintain their blood pressure, and they can't fill their legs or their stomach, making it difficult to push the baby out. So go back to the marathon where you were trained, fed, and could fill your muscles. Women who deliver naturally can eat whatever and whenever they want, and there are no side effects or medication withdrawals that they have to deal with. Now, if you're not convinced that natural childbirth is perhaps the better way to go, listen to Barb White, a nurse who delivered both of her baby girls naturally. She said, I can't have any more children, but if I could, I love labor. Now, getting a baby is fun, but I love labor. So today we've discussed how natural childbirth can allow for decreased C-section rates, faster recoveries, and better births. So think about it for yourself. Talk to your spouse, your sister, or your friend. And make sure that all women know that there's a better way to birth than being strapped to a bed, tired, hungry, and confused. And remember that the marathon of childbirth shouldn't be confusing and painful, but it can be enjoyable yet tiring, and ultimately it will never be more rewarding when you get that shiny medal. Thank you.